Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a fantastic game from 2019 Croatia Grand Chess Tour. This game was played between Armenian chess grandmaster Levon Aronian and Russian chess grandmaster Sergei Karyakin. This game is taken from round 6 and Aronian who was playing with white pieces opened up with e4. Karyakin responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. We have the Rui Lopez against which Karyakin chose the Berlin defense. As you remember, in the early games Alpha Zero was quite enthusiastic about playing the French defense but after 2 hours began to play it less and less, turned to Karo Khan and finally stopped on Berlin defense. And yes, as you know, Berlin is considered to be a reliable solid weapon for black but is very often avoided by white due to its drawish nature. Especially nowadays white is usually avoiding the line with queen exchanges but in this game Aronian goes for the that same line because he had some nice home preparations. Here Aronian castled kingside which is the main Berlin variation and knight takes e4 by Karyakin. Another popular alternative is bishop c5. This is the classical Berlin but in our game we have knight takes e4. Here of course Aronian could avoid the line with queen exchanges by going for rook e1 but after knight takes e4 he chose d4. The Hermit variation is coming and after knight d6 we first see bishop takes c6 and then d takes e5, knight f5 and the queens are exchanged. We are in the end game where though black has moved his king but has a nice bishop pair and a very solid position. h3 by Aronian, usually in here white is playing knight c3 or rook d1 check. These are the main moves but in our game we have h3, bishop e7, knight c3, knight h4. We have the exchange of knights on h4 and f4. I checked in the database and it turns out that this is a novelty. Before this usually bishop e3 was chosen for example Vacher, Legraf and Navarra chose this line but in our game we have f4. The f pawn is coming to support the e pawn and let's see what's in Aronian's mind. Bishop d7, bishop d2, king c8, bishop e1, bishop e7 and this time we have f5. These white pawns look very powerful and now Aronian will look for a way to push them forward. Bishop c5 check was played, bishop f2, bishop b4. All the time Karyakin is avoiding the exchange of bishops. He wants to keep his bishop pair, rook e8, bishop g3 and bishop c5 check. After the game Aronian suggested bishop takes c3 and then b6 in order to bring the king on b7 and connect the rooks. But Karyakin still decided to keep his bishops and he announced a check. King h2, bishop d4, rook e1, b6, knight d1, king b7 c3, bishop c5, knight f2, bishop e7. A mistake after which black is facing serious problems. Well, in here it was not too late to go for bishop takes f2, exchange the dark squared bishop with the knight and then play c5 with the idea of activating this light squared bishop by bringing it on the long diagonal but in our game we have bishop e7 and there it goes e6 is on the board and after f takes e6 f takes e6 white is gaining a powerful post pawn on the e file and at the same time is demoralizing black's army by forcing this light squared bishop to step forward thus imprisoning the rook on a8 knight d3 bishop f6 and another heavy punch by Aronian, rook takes f6. The most beautiful and daring move in this game. Aronian goes for an exchange sacrifice in the style of Iron Tigran. G takes f6, but now let's see where is white's compensation. Actually by going for the exchange sacrifice, white managed to get rid of black's dark squared bishop and now by going for bishop h4 white will emphasize the vulnerability of this diagonal and this pawn knight f4 rook d8 black is looking for a counterplay but there is nothing black can do meanwhile we have bishop h4 the dark squared bishop is coming after this pawn on f6 and the pawn drops king c6 e7, bishop d7, finally black managed to activate his light squared bishop 
but still the white position is overwhelming but there are some technical problems to solve i have to tell you that the computer give both sides equal chances but from a practical point of view it's easier to play with the white pieces and aronian was like blitzing out moves while koryakin was burning time here we have bishop e8 knight e6 bishop h5 rook f2 bishop g6 h4 king d7 knight f4 bishop b1 a3 rook g8 knight g2 we see some maneuverings by both sides both players are looking for better squares for their pieces rook e2 king e6 from here on Karyakin is choosing a wrong strategy he wants to bring his king on this f7 square but that's a terrible idea which is losing instead it was better to acquire waiting strategy and move his rook on the d file if knight e5 check then king e6 no problem at all for black but instead we have king e6 king g3 king f7 and the problem with this idea of bringing the king on this f7 square is that now at some point white will play h5 and will announce a check from e5 force black king to move back and then we'll go for g6 advancement here with king f4 aronian unpinned his knight h6 and rook e1 h takes g5 check h takes g5 white managed to gain the second passed pawn bishop a2 knight g4 rook h3 and knight e5 check is on the board king e6 king g4 rook h7 knight f3 discovered check king f7 and king f5 with a devastating g6 threat here karyakin moved back his king on g8 but anyways g6 is on the board rook h5 check king g4 rook h6 and knight h4 with this move orion imprisoned black rook and now the threat is king g5 black rook is trapped here karyakin made a desperate bishop f7 move but after g takes f7 check king takes f7 bishop g5 he resigned uh, let's take a look at one of the possible lines how white can win for example if rook e6 then white can first announce a check from f1 and then can penetrate the eighth rank with this rook of course still there are some technical problems to solve but white's position is totally winning and then knight f5 is coming with knight h6 threat that's why after bishop g5 Karyakin resigned a very impressive game by Levon Aronian he managed to break into pieces that super solid Berlin defense by demonstrating really very high chess skills even went for an exchange sacrifice in the end game which is a pretty rare phenomenon in the end game and all the time by creating problems for his opponent managed to force him to make a mistake and won the game in the end as usual a chess puzzle for you please take a look at this position and try to find that winning move for white it's white to move and i will wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching for more games consider to check out these suggestions as well i will see you in my next video take care